Peace. To the family. Let's get this party started, y'all. Doing Q and A. ready for you guys <laughs> get your questions ready Where's the question is at? Let's get it in. Okay, we want to keep the focus on real estate. We want to keep the focus on the stock market, on the economy, maybe even global politics or national. I'm just coming off the hype of doing an amazing class. I'm glad that my good brothers and sisters out here taking it serious because like I said, I hold myself to a certain standard that if you enroll in my class and midway through this coronavirus onto the exit, if you still find yourself in the same impoverished, struggling, semi-good state, if you don't amass wealth, I'm going to personally feel a way. That's going to be a great disappointment on my behalf. My ratio, my win ratio with students has to be in the upper 90th percentile. Facts. That's how proud I am of the information that I'm disseminating. Today I went an additional hour. I doubled up on class and I'm adding an additional class which will take place next Sunday. People are doing the class right now. They're studying right now. Just got the class. Let me see what this. I <clears throat> just good typo. Just got the class. Thanks. Great, the lion. I'm glad you got it. If you're ready to get the class, people, it's at I am brother polite dot app. I am brother polite dot app. It's there. Right there. In the pin, it's pinned to the top. I am brother polite dot app. And then if you're interested in getting a consultation. Consultations are 200 or more an hour. Upon payment, I send you an application, you fill it out. It's about your specific interests and needs and in my evaluation, I'll be able to optimize our experience by being empowered from knowing what your interests are, then I can say, okay, let me put together a curriculum that caters specifically to you. And that's how we optimize the experience so that way I don't have to cut into your valuable time that you paid for. We also have the CRM, which is the Credit Restoration Microwave, where we remove all the negative items off your report, add positive items to your report, boost your credit score, and see to it that you get approved for larger lines of credit. Understand that you go to the email for that, brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. If you want consulting, if you want to purchase that 3K consulting, I mean Credit Restoration Microwave, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. You always leave your full name and your phone number. Never send an email without leaving your full name and your phone number. That is a course for people that are not only looking to remove their debt, but add value onto their lives from the debt. To be approved for five figures or more upward. Yes, we mean one-tenth of a million. True. 
Everyone should be entitled to mess it up at least once. That is not my opinion. This is a fact. Beyond student loan and mortgages, debt. I'm about to go into these questions. I see those questions racking up. Oh, it's right there pinned to the top if you need the email, brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. If you're looking to purchase the Gold in the Crisis course to find out how to amass wealth during these trials and tribulations that our people are going through, you go to imbrotherpolite.app. Keep in mind, the economy looks near identical to how it looked during the Great Depression, the market crash of the 20s, 1929 in particular. And this is an era marked in American history where more millionaires were birthed than any other time in American history. No other time in American history were more millionaires born. And today the economy looks identical to the economy that gave birth to all those millionaires during the depression. It doesn't happen when the economy is up. It happens when the economy is down. And I go through it in meticulous fashion. What were these things? And amongst those circumstances that existed then, do any of them exist now? Does any of those opportunities run concurrent with today's economy? Since our economy looks identical, why not the opportunities? Well, when we look into it, we realize the opportunities are also identical. This is the best time. This coronavirus, paradoxically, and on a serendipitous level, has afforded us a great opportunity. A great opportunity to do what? Amass certain wealth. I want to tell y'all when y'all talk about these emails. Let me let me get to that. Let me let me get to that. <clears throat> because we deal with a large volume of people, that means people that are in error, there will be a large, larger number of people in error because we're dealing with a large volume of people. It's the best thing in the world when you purchase something and someone doesn't send it to you. It is the glory. You get to talk crazy, talk wild, and talk reckless. But here's another thing. What happens when you actually got the damn email with all the data? Those people don't never say sorry for the dirty talk. So I got administrators that they're not getting paid to be disrespected. They're paid to be patient. They're paid to be patient, as friendly as possible and understanding. And to beg your forgiveness if there's any shortcomings. But today ain't that day. And when I did the first course, y'all got the information two hours earlier. When I did the first course, you guys got the information. You got the class two hours earlier. And the only thing that had up, held up the course by minutes less than an hour today is because I chose to give my people additional information. I chose to give my people a hour more, a hour additional of information. And on top of it, I added an additional day because class is supposed to be spaced out two weeks apart to give you guys the opportunity to assimilate the data and make whatever you learned applicable and retain it, just retain it in general. However, meticulous as I am, I said, man, I got to go harder because dealing with options is not a two hour ordeal. I want to make sure you get it. I want you to understand you can pay pennies into the future and risk losing six or seven or ten dollars, but can gain hundreds to thousands from that six dollar investment, from a six cent option contract, from a 12 cents option contract. That's what I want y'all to know. And I got to make sure you truly understand it we went into dividends that's right we went into dividends today Tadu we went into dividends today we went into ex-dividend dates 
in how you should invest the day before, at the very least, so your acknowledgement can go in a few days thereafter of being a stockholder so your dividends can be paid out onto you. We went through quite a bit. The declaration date, we went through quite a bit. It was amazing to me. It was great. Because when I teach, I don't just want to give you the glory of executing the trade and this is where you go on the site. But that's important to me too. Where do you go on the site? People just want to hear about the glory of, yo, flip this money. This is all you got to do. Nah, you got you to gotta get into the nuances, man. And letting them know, okay, if you can buy on that X date, but if you buy on that X date, know that the stock is going to go down. But they do that to protect the interest of the game. They do that to keep everyone honest. But it'll go back up, but you shouldn't be over there looking to squeeze that type of juice out the economy. And if you buying options and selling options, it's two different things. Uh, pardon me, if you buy inputs or you sell inputs, it's two different things. Because if you buy in the put, you got a bearish assumption, a bearish assumption. And if you sell in the put, you got a bullish assumption. We're not going to play these games. This is why we have to do the class. Because there's points where you got to be meticulous. You got to be very critical about the next move. But we talking about that BPB10, a system that creates enough insurance, even in a volatile economy. And in fact, my BPB10 system stipulates that we love volatile economies. We love the inconsistencies. And we certainly love the lower prices. And what companies do we invest in? The ones that just came from on their way out. We having a good time with this money making, man. I'm not going to play games. This is something I love to do. I love to teach about how to make this bread. I love to be the one that has added value to black families' lives where they are able to pay for more of their bills than they normally was ever, ever, normally ever able to do before. I love it. You're welcome, Judith Owens. You're welcome. Free game, you already know. We got we to gotta play that game too. I'm looking for them questions. I'm paying attention. <clears throat> Thank you for the praise, the love, and the compliments. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's hiccups, but we ain't been having hiccups. We've we been on point. Look, I, I still got the mic here. I done upgraded the technology. When you look at the course, you're going to see it looks high def. It's crisp. You see the growth from when I was doing courses before. If you ever was in more than one course of mine, you look at this one, you say, okay, the audio and the visual is a lot more crisp. Just put more effort into it. That's not particularly my forte. Certain things I really go hard on. But by the time you go super hard on several things, you're going to lack in other things. That's just how it happens. That's why you get a team around you to tell you, yo, polite, you need to clean this up and let me do it for you. I'm so used to doing as much as I possibly can. I got to let up sometimes and allow other people to help out to produce a better product for the people. It happens, but it's a learning experience. That's all. It's a learning experience, and I love it. I love it. We all learn it. But yeah, this course, we lit. We lit. But I'm saying we got to be respectful and loving to each other under all circumstances because you don't know how you may impact someone being the 15th person who didn't realize they actually got the email. You type in admin at iambrotherpolite.app. If you don't see your email, type that in your search engine on your email because it may pop up from somewhere, wherever it's at. Reverse osmosis. Do it that way. Oh, please, Brother Play, please explain how much is the cost, Derek. Oh, what's your name? It's not complicated, sister. Well, I'll tell you this. It only seems complicated because you're not familiar with it. And Derek said, how much is the cost? 
the cost is in fact $99 for several days, not for one day. That's the thing about it. And I added an additional day just now because I want to make sure I can give you as much as I can give you. So when you're doing your thing, you have a peace of mind. Real talk is that I am brother polite dot app. You can see it here pinned to the top. I am brother polite dot app. That's the website. You go there, purchase the course. You automatically going to get associated links and PDFs, PDF versions to the PowerPoints. Understand you will have to go on websites, create a username, login, username, login. There's a lot of that going on because I'm not just teaching you how to make monies off of the market. I'm showing you the strategies you can use to roll your monies over. So in other words, if you make an excess or if you make beyond the anticipated amount of interest, what do you do with that? You got to create a discipline. That's the money that you put into the risk, the so-called risk. But you still make an evaluation to understand where you put your money with. I mean, that looks great. But if I'm expecting to make a $400 profit and I make $600 or I make $50, what happens to that money in excess of my interest? We got to have a way that we approach dealing with money so we're not left out the conversations that other people are in. You can still demonstrate similar behavior as wealthy people. Because technically, by definition, you don't have to be a hundred millionaire or a millionaire to be wealthy. It's through your demonstration, through your strategy, that determines if you're wealthy. Your strategy determines if you're wealthy. It's a difference between rich and wealthy. And some people are so poor, all they got is money. You know that. You know how we talk that talk. I love cryptocurrency. I'm, I'm into cryptocurrency. I'm in that. I'm with that. I'm an advocate of that. Especially while it's early. And we got space in our class for that. We have some space because we still talking about stocks. We still talking about holdings. We still talking about positions. We still talking about securities. We still talking about ETFs. So it's in there. We got to talk about it. It got to be in there. So don't think I'm leaving that stone unturned. It's just not that time. It's not that hour for me to deal with it yet. Right now, the focal point is we bringing it back to the dividends and we also focusing on the options. We focusing. Because before I could get you to the leap, option, leap options, before I could get you to the index funds and the ETFs and the securities and we, this groundwork that we have to do because when I'm done I need enough of my good brothers and sisters to be able to swing trade to be able to day trade okay to understand what an X date is what a declaration is all right I need that and the strategies thereof I need I need my brothers and sisters to rock with that strike price and when you win the puts when you, when you, when it's the puts or when, when you calling up damn they're not letting me i see the comment and it disappears say so you purchased the course but what i need to see that again write that write that again what am i gaining from your course bro just watch these free streams if you don't understand by now Go to the website and read what the website say. And if that ain't enough, I don't know what to do for you. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm talking for no reason this whole time. <laughs> you know, I'm not looking to be rude to you, but I'm like, God damn, I've been on here for about 20 minutes now. The whole theme is to make sure that we ain't ass backwards and dirt broke in the interim of this coronavirus or post-coronavirus. Because that's the direction of the black community. That's where we're heading right now. I'm not saying this in anger. I just got to turn it up so you can get the sense of urgency that the reason why the course exists is because we need our own stimulus package in a form of knowledge. Why? Because a $1,200 check is not going to be a remedy for two years of struggle. I hope you're walking with me.
a $1,200 check of your own money that is due to you that they will deduct from you next year is not enough to get us out this situation even if they gave it to you three months in a row. They doing everything in their damn power so they could cut corners. They're going to phase one of this coronavirus to ensure that they don't have to give people that much unemployment. Even if that much more people are still unemployed. Once they can say we started opening up the businesses, your ass is grass. Everybody is not going to be rehired again. Wages are going to get cut lower. Hours is going to be shorter. Even when you start working again, they're not going to make you work regular hours. <laughs> you walking with me? So we need to learn as much as we possibly can how to use little to no dollars to generate and or amass wealth. That's what we need to do. That's what this course is about. And we're using the stock market to do so. And we're using the real estate market second. We, we're making that our secondary market. Because we have a BPB10 stratagem that will be employed where we learn how to allocate these monies. And we will sign up for dividend reinvestment programs, DRIPS. And we will hedge our bet, limit our losses, and still write off our capital gains. This is our conversation, family. We, we got to promote literacy about finance. Ain't enough to just know how to read and write. This is a whole nother language. And it's such a different language. It's spelled out right in front of you, the opportunity you have to ensure that you will never struggle again. Our ancestors who woke up and started to realize what they missed out on would beg to be here today. Anytime there's a beer sighting, the bulls emerge and they become millionaires. Facts. Facts. The CRM is the credit restoration microwave. That costs $3,000. We remove the negative items off your report, add positive items to your report, boost your credit score. That's going to take place inside of two to three weeks. Maybe slightly longer because of this virus. Okay, and how they're doing things at Hesperian TransUnion and Equifax. But still, you can't complain. And on top of that, then, once we remove all the debt, all the debt, then, and only then, we're going to create the opportunity for you to get five, six figures upwards. By six figures, we mean one-tenth of a million. Words are our GPS reality. You should not feel weird about hearing something like that. Because once we have your advantage score and your FICO score where it needs to be, Once that takes place and we teach you about how to create better utilization ratios for your credit card, guess what? Why you can't get two credit cards that's worth $50,000 or two that's worth 20 grand, 20 grand and get a personal loan or a business loan that puts you over the top collectively at six figures? These things are not supposed to be hard to get access to. In fact, it never was. The only thing that made it difficult was the lack of information, the disconnect. Because you spent so much years going to school, never learning about credit until you messed it up. That by the time a 10th grade dropout come out with the Aya Heru, you'd be saying to yourself, I did not expect to get this information packaged like this. It must be false. I question it. Even if I can look it up. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I'm either too dark or too hood. But it's weird because the words and terms he's using doesn't match his complexion. <laughs> I know how the game go. We can't get caught out there slipping, man. We already got caught slipping. They be catching us slipping left and right. Catch us slipping, eating crazy. Next thing you know, the virus is attacking everybody that got these respiratory problems. Our environment gave us the respiratory problems. 
the transgenerational diet has given us the respiratory problems. You you consuming all these carbs. Nature don't intend for you to have no carbs. Look at the foods nature creates. And by carbohydrates, I mean carbonic acid, which attacks the ciliated cells. Okay? And the goblet cells. The cells that are responsible for protecting you from bacteria and fungal infections. Goblet cells and the ciliated cells to protect you from pathogens. The hairs to help suspend it. But the carbonic acid destroys those regions and gives rise to respiratory ailments. And then you got the asphalt that they built the little playground for the children amid the whole projects that we breathed in. Then you got the lead paint that they put there because they knew radiation couldn't go through it. So they said, yeah, let's use the lead paint. Then later on, they found out it was giving us breathing problems again. And then the walls of the damn projects is metal. So even if the radiation coming from your router, coming from your computer, coming from your cell phone is non-ionizing, you just in there incubating. Because radiation gets amplified when the walls are all metal. There's no feng shui. So all the negative hydrogen eons is suspended in the corners of the wall because you don't got no curvatures taking place. Everything's a box in the square. So no free energy there. It's acidic. But you say this to people and they look at you like you're stupid and they want to debate you about it knowing they don't understand that being subject to radiation of any kind for extended periods of time is going to create free radicals that attack tissues that in turn destroy DNA. True story. Hence the reason we need antioxidants that have available electrons to donate to free radicals to make them stable again. Because free radicals, when they're missing an electron, Due to the electron being thrusted or pushed out of its valence, they go to another atom and they take an electron and that atom takes an electron from someone else and that atom takes another electron from another atom and a whole domino effect. So you consume antioxidants because they have available electrons to create balance. But if you have too much of one than the other, particularly in favor of free radicals, if the, if the ratio of free radicals to antioxidants is too disproportionate. You wind up with oxidative stress. The formula for making a person age quickly, which is called advanced glycation end. So the free radicals is attacking the tissue and damaging the DNA. But you see, this is all science. But when it comes from your brother, it has to be pseudo it's weird. You won't focus on how he knows. Then yo, let me go out there and get me my antioxidants and get them in every color. Don't stick to one. You need them in all the colors that they are available. I appreciate you. I've been trying on my own and I had a call and made $280. You speak, my brother. Thank you, Daryl. Love to hear you guys making the money. Yeah, Ripple won't sell on Robin Hood. That's why I'm not over there with that. They're not dealing with that. You're not going to get that. Nah, not, not when you're a visionary. You're not going to be able to invest as a visionary on Robin Hood when it comes to that. XRP, you won't get that. There's a couple others you're not going to be able to get over there either. Oh, yeah, we're going to get the five going soon. Yeah, the cost, Daryl, Derek, pardon me, is $99. It's $99. That's correct. It's at I am brother polite dot app. Let's not get set up. Let's not put ourselves in a position to fail.
It's all good, Anthony. Appreciate you. Real talk. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do our best to share as much as powerful information as possible. We still banging on the beast with them lemon and limes. I hear that. It's an astringent. And I'm looking for the questions. I'm just about done, though. I had a long day. I did course. I did the class. I just came off of Instagram, came here, just building with the people. Because I know when I go on my hiatus, I be on my hiatus. <laughs> but it's love. It's love. And I know I'm supposed to be doing economics, man. But that health is our wealth as well. Thank you, my brother. He said, even this knowledge is worth $99. True story. I appreciate all the love and the support, man. You guys are great. We just stay positive over here. We stay positive. That's what we do. That's why I love over here. I love the vibe. Because when we do our thing, we ain't got to worry about the hostiles. And nobody acts into debate issues they don't understand. We ain't dealing with the gossip, the rumors. And I, I love it. It's just a good energy. We accomplish so much more when we have a monologue even consecrated to the development and upliftment of our community. What's, the, what's my source of knowledge? Man, I don't even know where to start. The sun? I know that sounds wild, but, you know, plants break down light to get information, and so does our melanin. It photosynthesizes in a very similar way. So I would say my primary source of information is the sun. How about that one? I don't want to give you a traditional answer. God could say <laughs> reading or books or I don't know. It's, it's a broad question. So let me be more broad and let me say the sun. <laughs> let me do that. What well, stocks are good to buy? When people ask that question, I like to be careful because it's about the resources you have and your particular interests. And the reason why I say that is you may know more about a certain sector or industry than I would. And therefore, it stands to reason you will be more emotionally invested in it to do or employ certain practices. So what does this mean? We all wired differently, but my wives and them are interested in certain things in the world that when they apply that thinking to the stock market, they have more of a profound understanding of that particular industry than I would. It might be about hair. It might be about nails. It might be about just things that they're into. You know, I, I love sports. I love boxing. I go to Vegas to watch a lot of the fights. I'm familiar with MGM Grand. So I'm probably going to invest in that because that's a company I understand. And I understand their, their EDs and flows. I understand their undercurrents. I understand their ebbs. I understand it because I see it with my own eyes because I'm such a huge boxing fan. And a lot of times the main fights take place in Vegas. I got a feel for it. And even in UFC. So it just depends. You feel what I'm saying? It depends. And then it... It boils down to what is your investment strategy? You want dividends? You want to sit on the stocks? Get your capital gains? I, I, you know, it's a lot of things we got to put into play before I can say what we're going to do. You looking to get money day to day? You don't mind waiting a day or two days or even a week? You know, you might have to play with some strategies and then say what you really like and why you really like it. And then I can tell you you know what, I think this would be great or ideal for someone like you because of your personality, because the market that is multifaceted when it comes to personality. So I always want to be honest with you and tell you, I can tell you what are great stocks for me. And if we're talking about just making some bread at random, I can give you some general ideas. But it's just like health. At one point, you got to get a food sensitivities test because it's going to tell you what foods you might be allergic to. 
whether you can feel it or see it, it'll let you know. Because in a general sense, I would tell you kale is good for you. Because kale is just good in general. It's not milk. It's not pus milk. It's kale. So, of course, I'll say kale is great for you. No matter what, the pus milk ain't good for you all the time. But the kale, in general, would be good for you. Until you take a food sensitivity test and find out you got a mild allergic reaction to it. So, you don't benefit from it in the same manner that most people would. But now we found out your food sensitivity. So, the market is the same way when it comes to investing. You might have a certain sensitivity to different investment strategies because there's a plethora of approaches you can take when it comes to investing on the stock market. You just gave a $2,000 course on here. Thanks, Meech. <laughs> I appreciate that. That appreciation, I appreciate that. So, you know, it's all strategy. It's all approach. You know, a person tells you, yo, you need to invest in this, you need to invest in that. The first thing a person's supposed to do is see if they can walk you through some of the processes that are there. So you can get a range, because something in your spirit is say, oh, I like the long-term investment and paying pennies on the dollar. I'm with that. And if I lose, I lose six, seven dollars, ten, fifteen dollars. If I lose, but if I gain, I get hundreds of dollars or thousands from that same six, ten, fifteen, or twenty dollars that I invest into the future. But it's gonna cost more the closer I am to the call date than it is the further I am from the call date. You buy in the future, it's gonna be pennies. You buy closer to the date where it's very clear what a stock has been doing, it's gonna cost you more to own the future. But I like owning the future. Be it the near future or the far future, I like it. Because I've reconditioned myself. Because I've been an entrepreneur for so long. I don't operate under the same psychology. A lot of us, we're programmed to get our money from one week to the next. Or bi-weekly. Or even on a monthly basis. So the problem with this. Is that we can't see past the week. And at most a month. The way you get paid is the way you think. It's going to have an impact on the way you approach risk and your understanding of what exactly is a risk. You don't realize how big a risk you're making or you don't realize how big a risk you're taking when you get paid one week to the next instead of day to day. Give my money day to day. It'll make me more responsible and understanding. But this waiting on somebody to give me mines, after uh, I'm going to just keep working, 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 and believe you're going to give me my check. Yo, it's a weird programming that a lot of people still don't get. It's some weird stuff to accept that for year after year after year. Do I invest in the stock market? Come on, my brother. I think you probably trolling me. <laughs> Let me move your question out the way, man. You trolling. Yeah, you go to I am brother polite dot app. I am brother polite dot app. That's the website. And you can purchase the course right there. Like I said, this course is set up and designed to make sure you have a contingency plan. You can't just sit here waiting for a check. Look, they're doing it again, actually. You're sitting here waiting for government to give you a check. Doing that make you not do nothing. You got to be careful with that. You got to pretend that check don't exist. And what you going to do if it doesn't exist? Battle of the wits. What you going to do? You're on your last two, three hundred. How much of it you going to put towards investing in information that teaches you how to invest in the rest of the money. Education is your biggest and your greatest investment. And it normally don't cost that much. And when it does cost you 60 grand, 80 grand, 100 grand, it normally puts you in debt. And after you've 
gotten access to that information, what has it done for you? Absolutely nothing. It's done nothing for you. You there waiting for a check right now. After seven years of school, four years of school, two years of school, college I'm talking about. Because we know 14 years of school from pre-K to 12th grade. What has all these years of school amounted to if you're sitting here wondering when's the government going to give us another check or if the government's going to do something nice for us and create... No, you don't want to be sitting here waiting on the government. Kudos to them for coming up with whatever strategy they got. But it, them strategy, those strategies are a trap. I ain't about to sit here and wait for no government to give me no bread. I don't want it. That's like... Blood money for me, because you're going to find some way to tie me up later on. I don't care what nobody tell me. You're going to give me six months forbearance and not pay my mortgage, and then they're going to ask me for that six months when the six months is up. I ain't got no time for that. Y'all don't really see the jug is being on. The jug is on. The setup is here. You complacent now as you get those checks. You think black people dying from this coronavirus? More black people dying from being unemployed. And more will die from being unemployed. And when I say die, they might be they might be alive to you, but they'd be the walking dead. Their spirit gonna be taken from them because they won't be able to do nothing. Remember, rappers, all these different people, they, they can't go out there because of social distancing. They can't do no concerts. That's where they make the bulk the bulk of their money is made from concerts. That's when they really work. That's their job. They can play all that money game in front of you all they want. They make that money from touring. The labels take all the other money for the most part. They go on tour and make that bread. You take away their tours and you look at their expenses, their cost of living contradicts the amount of money they really make. They just live in anticipation of making more money. Until they get caught up when their career is on decline and they, it's hard for them to come to terms. And then they got to look and downsize their lifestyle. And then go through a lot of emotion and be depressed because they're embarrassed. And they didn't want to hide from people. They didn't want to see them. It was in their glory. When they were stunting and showing off to everybody that didn't have much. I don't wish this for nobody. These things are inevitable. Well, family, we are at the end of the road. I'd like to thank you guys for listening. You, again, you go to IamBrotherPolite.app. IamBrotherPolite.app. You can purchase the course. We'll be on most likely tomorrow. I'm definitely going to do a demonstration and post it for Instagram. And when I do that, I'm going to follow up and do the longer version for Facebook. But I thank you all for listening. It's been a heck of a day. I had a long day. Been teaching all day. Been sharing information all day. You know, most times I do a free class. I done did three. Most time I do a paying class. I done did two or three free classes. And that's one of those days I'm having today. So, starting to catch up to me. I'll see you guys later. I don't know if this thing is froze or what. I'm not seeing no more comments. But peace to you guys. I love you. Iluvu.